What's up, guys? I'm Al Rubbo, and I'm here with... Too High Up. What's up, guys? And we're going to be going over the Warzone maps from S to D. So, uh, let's get right into it. Alright, first up, we got Ashika Island. Um, when it first came out, I was skeptical. Because I loved Rebirth Island so much, but I think it's a pretty solid one. And it's not bad. I like the uh, the little Asian theme they got going on there. It's pretty nice, but it's ah. Uh, it's not Rebirth. It's not Rebirth. Yeah, it's not Rebirth. I, I, but it's a good time. I would say B. I would say B. I would put it B. I like B the too. theme of it. I like the color schemes of it. It's pretty nice. The layout's pretty easy to maneuver through. With a right. redeployed drones, it does make it easier to get around the map as well. Very true. And there's no giant, you know, rock in the middle like another map that will come up here later. Mm -hmm. uh, next up is Vondel. Uh, it's the newest Rebirth Resurgence uh, map to come out, and there's way too many buildings for my liking. Yeah, it's like so clustered, it, and you're so tight. You, yeah, it's not... It's not worth it, I feel like. I don't know what they thought when they were making this design. I'm not too sure, honestly. I, honestly, probably D tier for me. Just not enjoyable. I, I might move it up to C. Maybe C? Maybe low C. Um, next up, we got Almazra, which was, at least for me personally, uh, this is what killed Warzone for me. I hated this map. I was map. just about to say, this it, is probably the worst map. Such a big map with such limited mobility. Um, they ruined the helicopters. They ruined, you know, most vehicles uh, in this game, so it was really hard to get around. Uh, they tried to fix it, adding in the redeploy uh, drone system, but it just did not work for me. I, I honestly put it in D tier. It was awful. It's map. the worst map. Yeah, it's the worst map so far. Yeah. Uh, these three maps that we've listed, it's the worst one, for sure. Now, rivaling Almazra for one of the worst maps released. <laughs> uh, <laughs> next up, we got Caldera and, you know, Climbing Rocks. Dude, this, the, this is literally... Rock Climbing this Simulator is, right here. This is what killed Warzone, bro. No one wanted to run over a volcano that took you forever. And then by the time you got up there... All the teams are up there, and you just get killed. It's yeah. like, what's the point of it? It was not not a fun map. You know, it, it was probably the peak of Warzone tournaments for us, going when this map first released, and it just died off from there, from there on. It was just not really enjoyable. Um, yep. Honestly, probably D tier. I, I don't even know which is worse out of the two, almost or Caldera. But next yeah. up, we have a saving grace of maps. Rebirth Island. The holy, the holy grail, we might say. The, yeah, I mean... It, when you were down in Warzone, you know, you just got off a couple rough games, you know, you need to reset, you you get in Rebirth, and you actually enjoyed yourself. It wasn't like... It wasn't like it, it's too much. You know the, what I'm saying? The best like, it was way perfect. to describe the experience going from, like, Caldera, Caldera into Rebirth Island is, like, you've been bashing your head into a wall over and over on Caldera, and then you're, like, someone finally comes along and says, hey, you don't have to do that, and then you get to go and play Rebirth Island. Yeah, and, and they give you a pillow, and you yeah. lie down on a soft pillow, yeah. and you enjoy yourself. Here's a little you ice know what I'm pack, saying? you know, here, maybe a couple of A lot of tournaments, we ran a lot of tournaments in Rebirth. Yep. That, that, that's where we switch from running normal Warzone tournaments to doing Rebirth tournaments, and it was so much more enjoyable and fast-paced. Uh, brought almost a multiplayer feel into it for us and you could use unique builds you could use different builds it was cool man you could use yeah it was just cool and then they ruined it with the next but now we're back. we're back fortune's keep you know uh it, it came at a weird point for us in warzone uh, for myself very much so because we all started moving to other games and Make content on other games and stuff like that. Um, yeah. But then came back to it. Uh, Call of Duty had their, you know, qualifiers on Fortune's Keep for the Rebirth uh, Resurgence tournament, mm -hmm. uh, and ran.
ran that, you know, did really well in the tournament. Just unfortunately didn't qualify. Missed it by, like, 200 points, which sounds like a lot, but isn't as much as one would think. Um, and honestly, I, it was the most fun I had had in a very long time. And then immediately went back to other games because I was just not... Yeah, because it just... It wasn't... I mean, it was fun, but it just wasn't the hook that we needed again. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it was so sweaty, but we also kind of knew going into it and was going to be that way, so we were understandable. Yeah. Uh, yep. It was just a weird map. I, I didn't like how it was bigger on the sides and kind of skinnier in the middle of the map. Um, just created a lot of weird end circles, but we move forward. Uh, next up, we have Verdansk 84. So this is after the time warp uh, going back where not ah, a lot that's right, was that's changed. That's right, that's right, that's uh, right. Yep, the I remember, major change I remember. for this map was the fact that Stadium was now completely opened and they blew it right open yep that's uh, right so that was <laughs> i mean <laughs> that event was pretty fun no um, actually that event was pretty cool i'm not gonna lie that was one of the better warzone events now the caldera did have the kong godzilla event i mean that was cool but the map sucked so no one really yeah. cared about it you know uh, what i mean yeah uh, i do remember you know there's that famous nick Merckx clip of the uh ship Coming into mm. Verdansk 84. Everyone loved it. I don't know what it. this. Uh, yeah. But that was, uh, I mean, I put A tier just because it wasn't as big of a change as we wanted. That intro for the scene map. was the most toxic thing they've ever done to Warzone. Yeah. Like, I mean, it was just, it was so loud. Uh, you would have to mute your game going into it after a while because you'd start getting a headache from and it. And the crazy part is you can't even alt tab to mute the game. You alt tab and it still yeah, plays so you really, the whole You have to mute your headphones and then you can't hear what your friends are saying. And, you know, it it's ridiculous. Yeah, it was, it was a nightmare. <sighs> now for the granddaddy of them all. The OG. Where it all started. Where, where it, it all began. started. Good Storage Town. Military, you know, uh, superstore. I mean, downtown. We're talking when they about. Added in, uh, I mean, we're talking Plaza, about. You know, we're talking about prime time Dion. You know what I mean? We're talking about prime Golden State Warriors. You know what I'm saying? This is the top of the top of maps. It, it doesn't get better than this. It came at the perfect time too. You know, everyone. Are both personal records on this map? Yep. Uh, like it was such a simple, easy map to get, man. They got it down. I don't know. They got it the first try. They got it. Yep. And it came at the perfect time. COVID just started. And, we, you know, well, what am I going to do today? I guess I'm loading up for Dunsk. It, it was always there. All reliable. Yeah. And for that, you know. Our first I, I, tournament I, ran in Verdansk. Yep. It won a good chunk of change. You want money? In Verdance, actually. Yep. Still have my earnings in Z League. <laughs> Shout out Z League. Uh, fantastic site. What can I say? Um, but yeah, I mean, it, when you compare Verdansk to the maps below it, it just, oh, the man. flow of it, and it just everything. I don't know. And, and everything it's a lot about of nostalgia. It, the helicopters. A lot of nostalgia, but it. It comes from a fantastic place, too, because, yeah, like, even movement, helicopters. You grab that Bruin, uh, the Bruin, the MP5, the, the MP7. Oh, my goodness, man. And then we move on to the newest map. Urza I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Urza Stan has brought me back to Warzone, and I'm enjoying Warzone again. Mm-hmm. You know, you know what I'm saying? To the point where I would like to run tournaments again. Yeah. You know, it, it's... I don't Is think it it's hit that Is it better than Verdansk? Mm, no. Is the Gulag's better than Verdansk's Gulag? No. Mm. But is it better than all the other Warzone maps? I would say yeah. I, I have to agree. I mean, there's a lot they can do with this map, too. Like, if you... You know, thinking back to... Uh, Verdansk, they opened up the bunkers on Ursic Stan. Very on the true, map, yep. there are bunkers that are not there open. There is bunkers. Yet. So, uh, they, I think they took a lot of what Verdansk was and said, hey, 
We tried with these other maps. Everyone hated them. You know, we get so much flack for those other maps. We got to bring back that uh, that feeling of, like, I want to drop in here, you know? And mm-hmm. I think I think right now we got to put it low A because, uh, you know, it's not better than it's not Verdansk. better than the Ver- It's not better than Verdansk 2.0 either. How can you yeah. say that? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, but it I mean, is, it could get but to the same level. It could it can very much it. could. It very much could. Yeah. Now I wish they things. fixed. I wish they fixed the helicopters. That would be cool. Yep, helicopters. The helicopters are much not the needed. best right now. The mobility for the helicopters are awful. Like you just can't. But I do like the balloon systems they have. They have a lot of balloon systems set up. I and, like and that. And the balloon systems move around too. We so, need like, more buys game. though. We need yeah. more buys. There, there is a severe. If lack you're in of late game. And it's really only you, and you need a res your squad. It's it's near impossible to res your squad without a team being either on the buy or around the buy somewhere. Yeah, and, and like you know, deployable buys are nice, but they're pretty rare. They're so rare, and game. when you're the only one trying to res your team, you're not trying to spend the time opening chests. You're trying to get to a buy, so it's it's a very I don't know, man. I don't. I think they need to get another way to get the deployable buys. There's, there's got to be another way besides opening chests, I feel like. I, I, I will say I do love the addition of the redeploy players. Love that. Oh, but the I love... Dude, that's what they really... With the redeploy flares, with the automatic redeploys, and with the gulag tokens, they did great with those. I yeah. love those. I, those I, three features are awesome. You know, if you think back to Verdansk, when... Because you, originally you could only have five plates and then they added in the armor shot satchel then you could have eight and that was i fantastic. forgot about that and, and that, that was, was a game huge, changer uh, that was addition. a game changer so i think what we're kind of waiting on for the new map is that huge addition where we're like okay this took it to the next level now and yeah I, i'm not sure what that's gonna be but i do I, like how you can hold extra armor extra uh ammo boxes extra you know what i'm saying like you can hold six m texas if you want to i like that feature too yeah i do i do enjoy that feature i think you know <laughs> the train is actually viable now in al Mazra. it was awful because the map was so big and you can never find it um but i you know in terms of map size the train works perfectly in my opinion um and it doesn't move too fast or too slow. So that's also a plus for me, you know. Mm-hmm. We had the uh, subway system come into, I think, for Dansk and also Caldera. And that was just weird. No one used it. Uh, if you did, you were probably ratting uh, late game or, you know. Mm-hmm. But I think they've done a good job. And I'm excited to see where it goes. Hopefully they don't mess it up again. Yes, very true. I don't, I don't see them necessarily messing it up. I don't see them trying to overdo it. But they need to add that new factor, like you said. They need to add that new. I don't know what it is, but they need to figure it out. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it from us. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm too high up. Araba, we out. Peace.